one of North America's largest anime conventions, Anime Expo. Among all the highly anticipated project announcements, one Japanese event stood out. <laughs> Cyberpunk Edge Runners is the newest production by animation studio Trigger. And when the show's director appeared on screen, Fans went crazy. Trigger, they are just the kind of studio that they will just take risks and they will just do whatever the hell they want. They just defy all conventions and they just like make the most balls to walls, absolutely crazy batshit insane anime that I've ever seen. And I love it. I really like it because there's a lot of action and I love the comedy of it and the animation's really good. The animation quality, the psycho guy. Uh, the storylines, like the uh, craziness, the off-the-wall, in-depth stuff, and the character designs. Trigger is known for creating original works packed with creativity. <laughs> Anime fans have gravitated to the studio's unique worldview with stories, characters, and settings built from scratch. Audiences also love how the visuals prioritize flair and appearance in ways unique to Japanese anime. These three directors form the core of Trigger's creative process. We take a look at some thrilling and surprising action scenes. Learn about Imaishi Hiroyuki's meticulously crafted storyboards. See the best of the best animation effects. Find out the secret behind Yoshinari Yo's explosions. Access the secret effect archives of a charismatic animator. Witness an exciting and heroic battle. and learn how Amemiya Akira implements themes into a scene. Join and discover Trigger's secrets to creativity. The Anime Studio, Trigger. Trigger's headquarters are in Tokyo. Original characters greet you at the entrance. Personalized desks stand out. Employees like to work surrounded by things they love. 2022 marks the 11th year for the studio, where talented animators make up more than half of its total staff. Their ongoing challenge is to pursue quality animation and movement that can captivate the viewer. Otsuka Masahiko runs the company of more than 100 staff. After building a career at studios like Studio Ghibli and Gainax, he founded Trigger in 2011 with some co-workers. Animation is a person if a work was a bullet, we want to be the trigger that launches it. This is where the studio's name came from, and their fan base continues to spread worldwide. I'm a big fan of Imaishi. I feel that there's a really good personal touch when he does uh, all of his projects. I can really feel him putting his all into every every work he does. It, it builds up and it builds up and it builds up until you get to that big climax, you get all the action. Yeah, very, very high intense. Uh. The first name that comes to mind when thinking of Trigger is founding member, Imaishi Hiroyuki. He constantly challenges himself to find new ways of expression. For Kill la Kill, he combined a graphic novel touch with 3D CG, creating a new style of animation. Uh, 
For Pro Mare, Imaishi expressed flashy and frenetic action unlike anything seen before. Showy and flamboyant character designs are another characteristic of his style. Imaishi's latest work is an anime for a streaming service, Cyberpunk Edge Runners. It's based on a popular game by a Polish developer set in the near future. The original anime occurs in the same world as the video game. Eh, uh, almost nothing left over for food. Trigger was able to build a completely original story by creating characters not found in the actual game. The year is 2077. Cyborg body modification is now a normal part of society. Poverty-stricken protagonist David turns to the underworld for work. Using a high-tech cyborg part acquired by chance, David and his team work their way up. This is Imaishi's first noir anime. He set aside his typical high-octane style to pursue reality. The series will have an age restriction with scenes depicting intense violence. Imaishi is well known for his focus on storyboarding. Let's unravel the essence of his animation through the storyboards for his work. A storyboard is like a visual works blueprint, which assistant directors created under Imaishi's supervision. The parts marked in red are what Imaishi added while reviewing the storyboard. Imaishi used to work as an animator, so his animation directions are easy to follow. The heroine Lucy makes her first appearance in the second episode. They made sure to give her a cool and mysterious feel. Lucy, David. キャラクターのどのぐらいその高飛車なのかとか、どのぐらい優しいのかみたいなのの差し加減を表情で結構入れたなという、こういう時にあの普通にあの振り向くのか、ちょっとイラついてるのを思いっきり表情に出した状態な
Imaishi increased the scene's effectiveness by taking out fine details and focusing on the sense of speed through character movement and lighting. ここは特にあの最初にデイビッドがルーシーに惚れてしまうっていうきっかけのシーンなんでちょっと幻想的にしたくてトンネルでも通ってるかのようなファンタジックな描き方にあえてして。Imaishi says storyboarding can greatly influence the quality of a work. Yeah, もう本当アニメってその動き始めちゃったらもう戻れない完成画面を見据えて事前にあの発注をできるかっていうことにかかっていると常に思っているので。あんたたち With cyberpunk edge runners. Imaishi challenged himself to create new ways to express light. He used rim lighting. Rim lighting is a form of lighting used in visual projects to emphasize a subject's three dimensionality. Separate from the main light, rim lights are used like backlights. Imaishi recreated this in anime. この世界で名を残す方法はどう生きるかじゃないどう死ぬかよあんたには似合う Green and pink lights surround the characters The illumination helps the characters stand out Giving the visuals a dramatic flair どこかやっぱりその印象的に残るところはちょっとそうしたくてでこれもやっぱりコンテの段階で設計してないとそのアニメーターがこれ書いてないとこうならない動きが全部絡んできちゃうんでそれもあってもコンテでかなりガチガチに設計してますね。Using rim lights was first proposed by Yoshinari Yo, character designer and chief animation director. He worked on the battle scenes for the international hit TV series Neon Genesis Evangelion, and director Anno Hideaki had nothing but high praise for Yoshinari's work. Still, using rim lighting in an animated work was difficult, even for Yoshinari. Lighting is a concept that is not in the same way in Japan. 影の付け方をするんですよね。だいたい順光っていうと、もうまあ上からちょっと斜め上から来てるみたいな感じで、明確に光源を決めるっていうこと自体が結構ハードルが高いっていうか、その上二つ光源を作らなきゃいけないっていうので。This is a memo Yoshinari made for the animators. It included instructions to avoid overlapping rim light and solid lines as much as possible, and to keep the area small. Animators must always be aware of each cut's light source. Animators then draw the detail of the rim light in and around the characters. Staff shared that concept and created an impressive variety of rim light scenes. When it comes to pursuing new animation methods, Imaishi is in a class of his own. どうしても毎回どうせなら新しいこと考えたいな。考えて開発してそれが着地していくっていう工程がやっぱり面白いというか。There's another key element of trigger anime that fans can't get enough of. The scene stealing effects. Yoshinari is the artist behind them. His impressive explosion effects have come to be known as Yoshinari explosions. He layers on unique, deformed images to create shapeless explosions. 散々描いてるんで、だいたいもう流れができちゃってるんですよね。だからまあ何も考えなくても手癖で描けちゃうっていう
Let's find out his explosive secrets. Yoshinari is in charge of effects for cyberpunk edge runners. It is very unusual for the chief animation director to create the effects himself. For about five years, Yoshinari has created a variety of different effects which he keeps in an archive. Flames, bullets, beams, the total number easily passes 100. でも、ま、こんな感じでレイアウトにこういう風に半べてくださいって指示する場合もあると。これも。ま、本当はスペースシャトルが上に乗っかってるんですけど、ま、こういうロケット打ち上げの雰囲気みたいな。これも同じものい
みんなライバルなんでライバルですよね障害敵やっぱり自分の技を見抜かれたくないそうですよね But Yoshinari says that the way of thinking has also changed with the times. Yoshinari, who made a name for himself as an animator, is focused on passing down techniques. His passion for teaching tradition began while working on his directorial debut, Little Witch Academia. The work tells the story of a girl entering magic school and her journey of growth while getting wrapped up in all kinds of incidents with her friends. Was a project by Japan's Agency for Cultural Affairs aimed at fostering young animators. Yoshinari oversaw story direction, drafts, character design, and animation direction. He also took on the responsibility of mentoring new animators. Kaneko Yuto was one of those who trained under Yoshinari. Ten years have passed since then, and Kaneko is now one of Trigger's leading animators. Working directly for Yoshinari, Kaneko was responsible for supporting character designs and art for cyberpunk edge runners. いやまあそれはどんどん上手くなってるなっていうのは分かりますよね。うん。それとまあ同時にあれあの癖まだ全然治ってないなとか<笑>そういうことも感じたりするんですけど、まあでももう、うん、俺から教えられる方とかにないというか、まあそれは、うん、まあ続けてくれてよかったっていう感じですね。Another member from Trigger received an enthusiastic welcome at Anime Expo. Amemiya Akira. Amemiya is working on his latest film, Gridman Universe, which fans can't wait to see. At his desk, Amemiya is surrounded by his favorite figurines and plastic models. He's currently working on finishing storyboards for the film. Amemiya's directorial debut was based on one of his favorite special effects dramas. Gridman the Hyper Agent was created in 1993. The special effects drama was localized in the US and other countries with the title Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad. Gridman exists in that same worldview. It follows the main character with amnesia as he transforms into the hero Gridman and fights monsters across the city. Each battle between Gridman and a giant monster is depicted with force. Amemia made sure to include low angle shots over electric wires and buildings collapsing, reminiscent of the original TV special effects series. The way the hero combines with the robot and other details keep fans returning to Amemia's work. Some... 好きなコンテンツに携われるっていうのが結構モチベーションでしたね最初は。There is a particular scene that Amemia put a lot of focus on. The scene at the main character's high school. Yeah. 
Amemia put a lot of importance on musicless expression. A world where the real and surreal intersect. In pursuit of reality, Amemia went location scouting numerous times to find the high school setting. Fans eagerly anticipate Amemia's latest work, which will surely be more than just a heroic story. As we filmed, we encountered another heartwarming scene. It was when Imaishi shared handmade manga from elementary school. Many were based on robot anime he loved at the time. And then, a work from middle school. From directors to animators and new recruits, everyone in the production process came together and discussed the works in front of them. It feels like we got a short glimpse into what makes Trigger so special. それなりの。Anime Studio Trigger. When they shoot their next bullet, what will be their trajectory? Look out!